Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all hollers in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 Next Gen Bia video. And today I have a special two-way slashing combo guard bia for you guys. And this bia right here is really, really crazy, man. If you need to play the point guard with this bia, you can because you do have an 87 ball handle and an 86 pass accuracy. So you already know what time it is. Gold clamp breaker and gold needle threader, man. That's really, really crazy for this bia. You will be able to shoot, no need to worry about that. And you do get gold clamped, gold intercepted, gold gloves. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you guys how I created this masterpiece. We are going to shooting guard position, shooting hand of your choice, and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is, man. It's like button time. Go down there, hit that like button. Let's get this video to 50 likes. And I appreciate you guys for getting the channel to 14,000 subscribers, man. It really means a lot to me. And I appreciate everything y'all do. That's why I'm going so hard with these videos every single day. For this video, we are going six foot eight, 180 pounds with a 76 wingspan. Built body shape is if you care because I still don't care about that body shape. Let's go. And with this video, man, I really wanted to give this video elite contact dunks, but the playmaking costs so much for this bill and you have to hit certain numbers that I couldn't give the bill the elite dunk that I wanted to give it. But, you know, we're just going to take what 2K let us get and that's an 86 driving dunk, which is not all that bad, man. We still get badges like uh, limited takeoff, slithery, posterizer, riser. We get we get some good badges on this bill, you know, but I really wanted to live up to the slash tonight, even though you can do it with this 86. I wanted to get it a lot higher, but... You know, 2K won't let me be great and get the defense that I want too. So man, this build right here, it had me in the, in the you know, caught in between wanting to have great finishing, <clears throat> excuse me, and wanting to have great defense. For the drive and layup, we're gonna get that up to an 80. For the drive, I mean for the close shot, we're gonna get that up to a 76, which is really good in my opinion. For the standing dunk, we're gonna get that to a 62. And as you can see, we do get 17 finishing badges for this build. And 17 is the magic number because we do want to have limitless takeoff on goal. <clears throat> Excuse me again, man. Let me take my sip of water, man. I don't know what the hell going on right now. But we're going to take a sip, though. You know what I'm saying? Get my mind right and get back to it. So uh, 62 on the standing dunk. Like I said, um, 17. We're going to use limitless takeoff. We're going to use slithery, posterizer, fast twitch, fearless, and rise up. Not bad. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girl scream, baby. This bill can't shoot, no doubt about it. Now, so the three-point shot is a 78. And a 78 is good, in my opinion. You can take it to a 79. But uh, we want to do what we can to get more attribute uh, points. So we left it at a 78. For the mid-range shot, we're going to get that to a 71. And the free throw is a 63. So we get 16 badges, right? And I think that's good for this build because you are out there to finish and you are out there to play great defense. So we're not necessarily worried about having a lot of shooting. We just want to be able to shoot. And we're going to use catch and shoot, corner specialist, um, amp, claymore, and everything else that's icing on the cake. Those badges are the main badges because a lot of people that create this build will probably sit in the corner or something like that. Even though you can get your own shot, you don't have to sit in the corner with this build because this build does have the ability to get past people with that gold clamp breaker. And we're going to go ahead and get to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody, mama, can see this video. And I need everybody, mama, to see the video. So do that for you, boy, boy. Now, um, with this build, what I was talking about, um, in order to get the name that we have, you have to have at least a 78 speed with ball, okay? A lot of people may want to try to take a lower than that, but you're going to change the name of the build. So I had to keep it at the 78. And for the ball handle, I had to get that up to an 87. I tried taking it down one. I tried taking speed with ball down one, and they took the name away. So a 87 ball handle and a, a 78 speed with ball. Pass accuracy, of course, you already know you got to get that to an 86. If you try to take that down, they're going to change the name of the bill. And even with all of that on the playmaker, man, we only get 23 badges, man. Come on, 2K. Y'all could have gave us at least 25. You know what I'm saying? To have an 86 pass and 87 ball handle and a 78 speed with ball, you still give me 23? Come on, man, y'all could've gave me 25. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. And I would use anchor breaker, hyper drive, quick first step, needle threader, clamp breaker, handle for days, 
And we probably need to throw that unplugged right in there, man. Because I was playing on my point guard the other day, man. I was getting plucked like a chicken, man. And I can't remember if I got uh, unplugged ball on that particular bill, but, man, I was getting plucked like a chicken. It was like I didn't have no ball handle or nothing on the bill, man. I was just getting plucked left and right. And I really didn't like that, you know. When I played with that bill, you know, I'm out there to have fun. But I was playing against a smaller bill, and they switched and put the shooting guard on me. And I guess he was a lockdown, so, you know, they were letting him steal the ball from me and, and, or whatever. But that's the bill that I, I don't think I have uh, unpluckable on. But I'm going to go change that. But let's go ahead and get it to the defense, man. I talk too much, man, and I'll just be talking about games. And I'm not here to kind of, you know, keep you guys a long time. But, you know, I keep you here just to get my point across. You know, if I get to talking and and, and just, you know, going in, into some other things, then that's just what it is, man. I'm here to inform you guys. So this is not just like entertainment. This is informative for you guys. I like to tell you guys what's going on with me in the game and, and, and what I have experienced and since I've been playing in the park and stuff lately, man, I, I got a lot to talk about. So for the defense, right? We're gonna take the interior defense to a 71. And that will kind of help you out on the interior. You know, if somebody get past you, you're trying to block their shot, um, that will help you out because you're at the shooting guard position. You have to keep that in mind. You're not at the center. Okay, so you don't necessarily need like super high interior defense. But, you know, to each his own, I have seen a lot of builds. I see small builds with super high interior defense. You know, a lot of builds don't make sense, but if it works for you, then that's fine. For the perimeter defense, this is what I was talking about. We was trying to get gold clamps on this build. So we do get gold clamps at the 92, and, you know, that's really, really good on the perimeter to slow people down and get you some stops and help your teammates out. For the steel, that's a 95. I really wanted that. So we could get gold intercept and gold glove. Very important badges. For the block, we're going to get that to a 75 so we can get chase down artists on goal. Very important. Now, the rebound, we're going to take the defensive rebound to a 74. And uh, offensive rebound, leave it at a 29. Now, I didn't get the amount of badges that I really wanted, but, you know, I think this is okay. We get 22. So, of course, we're going to use clamps, glove, chase down, <clears throat> excuse me, interceptor, pogo. All right, that's 7, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's 25 right there. You know, that's just, you know, the main badge that you need. Everything else will be icing on the cake. Uh, we got 22 right there, and we'll get a plus 7, so that'll put us at 29. Keep in mind, I counted the badges. Now, 7, 10, 15, 20, 25. We'll have 29, so we'll have more badges that we can use. And keep in mind, you can also core two badges in one category, so that will help you out. Um, you know, I would try to get rebound, chase, and anchor. That's just me, but you're going to need a lot more badges to do that. But I just want to give you guys this blueprint, and uh, that's it right there. For the speed, we're going to take that to an 80. Acceleration is an 80, strength 46, vert 75, and the rest is on stamina. Now let's get it to these takeovers. So we have uh, finishing, shot creating, playmaking, and big lock. We're just going to choose something for the video. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. We do have shades of Deontay Murray, Paul, Joy, Kendall Gill. They, they name always pop up, man. I get sick of seeing the same names, 2K. Give us somebody else, man. And the build name is a two-way slash and combo uh, guard. That's the build. Make sure you like the video. Share the video. I'm out of here, man. Ciao!